It's almost a perfect cube, a perfect white cube. And the interesting thing from the outside is that the upper stories are slightly twisted compared to the lower ones. It's got this extraordinary claim to use no artificial energy. In other words, it heats itself and cools itself um, without any extra input. The building is mirrored in the large reflection basin in the forecourt. One thinks of historical examples rather than a classic industrial estate. The numbers 22 and 26 next to the entrance indicate the prevailing interior temperatures in the office building. The facade with its window openings is timelessly elegant. Openable casements are concealed behind wooden surfaces. The main idea of the building is that the things you have by nature in the building is enough to keep the temperature in the building. 20 to 30 percent of the energy demand is related to the changing of the, of the weather and the temperature outside. 70 to 80 percent are already related to the way how you use the building. And then the building behaves according not to the changing of the weather outside, but to what happens in the building inside. The windows extend right up to the ceiling. The walls and the bright floor reflect the entering sunlight. Especially in the cold season, the sun is an important source of energy for the house. The building is done in architectural terms by a very simple structure. All the horizontal elements are concrete, all the vertical elements are bricks. The main quality of the bricks why I have been choosing for this is it's the most common material. It's a very solid material and the third is it helps a lot to generate a better level of humidity in the building and the fourth, and there's, that's also a big advantage, is that it does not react onto the changing of the outside temperature very fast. The lifetime of building has to be much longer. Therefore, we have in this building a very open uh, layout, but all the techniques work completely decentralized. So it always relates to the rooms, which are determined by every generation or by the changing of time. A canteen with leather benches, a breakfast buffet, a coffee machine and an integrated library is located on the ground floor. One has the impression of being in a cafe. In the 22-26 office building, comfort and well-being are not just a matter of the right indoor climate. Comfort always has two levels. One level is that you don't have to care about anything if you don't like to. If you want to interfere, you can do. You can close or you can open everything. You can switch on the light or switch off. You can change everything. But at the same time, if you don't like, you don't have to care. 